paper enthusiasts. My name is Istvan and this is my channel Origami Around. The traditional tulip is a very simple but very beautiful design. For many people, it is the first origami design they learn. The flower and the leaf plus the stem are quite simple. My only problem with it is that it's not very stable, to put it mildly. But what if I told you that there is a practical and spectacular push version that would also be a perfect gift idea for someone? I came across it on Issa Klein's channel years ago. You should check out her other tutorials and watch her original video as well, link in the description. I would also like to show you the many variations of this design. And for those who are not new to my channel, you know that I curl everything all the time and I make everything curly and wavy. This time will be no different. That is the original design and that is the way I have changed it. This requires a slightly different way of gluing the elements together and also making them curly. I will also show you my variation ideas for the flowers. Let's start with the traditional origami tulip flower. I will show you how to fold it using an 8 by 8 cm square. Fold along the lines that bisect the sides of the square. This will make a quite small flower anyway. As always, I suggest you start on a larger piece of paper for the first time. Turn the paper over. Fold both diagonals of the square. Hold it like this. Now it looks like a tent. Start pushing the corners towards each other. Fold along the market lines. Fold the bottom corners up to the top of the tent. Flip it over and repeat the step on the other side. Now let's fold this flap over. And the same on the other side as well. The smooth surface should be in front of you. Pay attention to which side is on the bottom and which is on the top, don't mix them up. I'm going to fold both sides, but unusually not right on the center line, but beyond it. So that they are overlapping, because we are going to tuck one inside the other. Just like this. And do the same step on the other side. Now, at this point, the original instructions say to blow into this tiny hole at the bottom and the flower will inflate like a balloon. But it's difficult to do this with such a tiny flower, so I'm going to gently dent it and push it down. Like this. Adjust the corners if they are deformed a little. And that's it. As if we were just peeling it, we can pull out the petals. And if you prefer, you can make them curly as well. We can change the color of the flowers, vary the size of the petals by pulling them out less or more or even leave them closed. Many, many options. The leaves are next. I will use a 9 by 9 cm square. Fold along the diagonal.
fold it along the marked lines and fold the sides to the center line. Now fold the shorter sides at the other end to the center line. Fold in half along the market line. It is important to hold it in front of you with this side up. Note that the tips of the two leaves should be about the same height at this point. I'm also creasing this line because it will be one of the four corners of the tulip bush. You need four of everything, including this. Now I will show you my way of gluing them together. Actually, stop here for a moment. I have made a diagram to make it easier for you to see the angle of the leaves when they are being glued together. Two units. Here's how the corner of the second one is positioned inside. And here's a point where the corner of the first one meets the center line of the leaf of the second one. The most important thing to note is that these leaves have to look like this next to each other at the top, quite close to being the same height. Look, they are like little cat's ears. Third unit, fourth unit. At the bottom you should get a curve like this. Now let's continue and see this in action. I am only going to put a little spot of glue at this one point. If you put too much glue on, you won't be able to fold the leaves down at the end. I am making sure that these ears are even at the top. Before I glue the fourth one, I'm going to set them aside to dry a bit. At this point they really do look like a row of cats sitting next to each other. I will do a test fitting and then I will glue the last unit in. Now I will show you the stems. I use the same square, 9 by 9 cm, as for the leaves. Fold it in half along the diagonal. Fold the sides to the center line. Do the same with the smaller flaps at the other end, folding them to the center line.
fold them again to the center line to make a very thin stem. Hold it like this in front of you and fold it up along the line. I won't fold it exactly in half. The thinner part, which will be the stem, should be taller than the smaller part, which will be the leaf. Shape it like this. By the way, this is the traditional stem and the leaf for the traditional origami tulip flower. When I have all four of them, I glue them in the four corners of the tulip bush. If you look inside, there are little pockets you can slide them into. A little bit of glue and all four will be in place. The next step will be curling the leaves and I would like to point out here that it is much easier to curl the big leaves if you do it before you glue the stems in rather than the way I'm going to do this in this video because I just like to make it harder for myself. I will use a thin brush to curl the leaves. Again, let's pause here for a moment. Let's look at the variations. If I don't curl the leaves at all, it will look like this. If I curl just a little bit at the top, it will look like this. If I do a little bit more, we get this. And if you go all the way through, you will get this version, which is what I'm about to show you. Okay, we can go on. I will start with the bottom ones. I also make a little wave to it, like this. I shape the leaves one after the other. When the bottom row is finished, the middle leaves come next. As I said, the stems should be glued in after the larger leaves have been curled. It's not impossible to do it this way, but it is a bit more difficult. Make sure the upper leaves fit neatly, right between two lower leaves. That way it will look nice and aesthetic. When all four are finished, the top row of small leaves is next, 
and these should also be shaped so that they fall between the two leaves in the middle row below. When you are happy with the shape of your bush, you can add the flowers. As I have shown you, there are several different types of flowers you can try. If you are wondering about the proportions, here's one where I folded flowers from a square of 4.5, 5, 6 and 7 cm. This is what they look like on leaves folded from 9 by 9 cm squares. You can make the flowers even bigger, but note that if they are too big, they won't fit comfortably next to each other on the stems. If you are making it as a gift for someone, it is also a good idea to glue the flowers on. The tulip bush is finished. If you enjoyed this video, please support me with the like. Consider subscribing to the channel. You can also support me on Patreon or on Ko-fi. If you have the opportunity. On Patreon. Also share behind the scenes and look in progress photos and early access extra content from time to time. Use hashtag origami around if you make any of my designs. As I love to share them on Instagram as stories and highlights to give your pages a shout out. Thanks for watching. Have fun folding. Bye bye. Have fun folding, bye